Right, this is the printhead rebuilding kit for the Latex L25500 to 6500 and L28500. HP stopped making these kits a while ago and if you've got one of these printers you must have a clean cassette in to make it work. This kit will allow you to rebuild your clean cassette so it works as good as new. Okay, what have we got in here? First thing is a little bit of white label. We're going to use this to fill the printer into accepting it as a new clean cassette. A nice colourful label to put on your printer to remind us of who we are. Should you need more inks, printheads, service, anything to do with your printer, we'll help you keep it going. A little bit of cleaning material to scrub the top. A pair of gloves, keep your hands clean. This is the actual uh, felt roll and new felts for the, for the machine. Special cleaning fluid to get the ink and residue off the surface to make it look pretty. Special fluid to impregnate the felts with so they never dry out. Finally, a little tiny tube of glue to attach the uh, felt roll to the spindle at the other end of the machine. Okay, so for that, you will need some toweling material to keep yourself clean, a torx driver to remove uh, one of the cogs inside the machine, the uh, cassette, and something to act as a prize to open the top of the cassette. Okay, so we're going to open the cleaning cassette now, so we can start rebuilding. First of all, slice the old material out, and we're going to pull this rod out. one side and now we're going to open the thing up. To open it up we start at this end, get the screwdriver in underneath there right by the uh, hole and lever up. So this little, these, this little part here is a capping station, it locates on there, on these springs, the two ones don't have a cap. And here we've also got the felt, which is rubbish, and this other felt, often this can be covered in ink, but generally it's not, but we've got a replacement for it. That goes in the bin. And this can then be washed out. Okay, so the mechanism. We disassemble it by pulling this pin out here, which also releases this cog here. Put that to one side, don't lose it, we're going to need it. And then the pin comes out, and this now is completely free to pull through. this away. And then we can tear it off. Spindle. Okay, that's for the bin. 
Okay, we're left with a little bit of material on this roller here, which is discarded. And we now want to take this roller out. It's held in with one torque screw. This is all going to be discarded. There is actually a little spring in here. There. Okay. However, this is no longer needed. That could be discard discarded as well. Because we've got a new spindle. Yeah. These are manufactured by me. They have a, a new spindle, spindle end, and rod that is the correct diameter. Okay, so we'll move all the, all the springs here because they'll go loose. Put them in here, put those in there for safekeeping. Put those in there for safekeeping. And now we turn it over and we have to clean this area here. And here particularly here. This is a little tiny piece of paper set into a recess which the printer when the cleaning cassette is installed, writes to. It writes a black mark on here, and that's the way it knows it's not new anymore. But just for telling us, we're gonna clean up all this. So I have this magic cleaning fluid. Paying a little bit of attention to what's going down this hole. A little bit of attention, clean it up. Okay, so we're now going to fit the new roll. I'm going to take my gloves off for this bit because my gloves are quite dirty now. I'll try and keep this clean. So this fits in here. And it, the roll wants to drop down from the front of the thing. Okay, to fit it, we drop the roll in between the plastic and the pin. A bit tricky. There we go. And then this pops in to the spigot at the end and into there. So thread it through, spin it over. We need to get it underneath here. Actually, we'll get it under here first, around the pin. Do there like that. Over. Right, so we're going to put it, slide it underneath there. Little clear plastic strip, and we get the pin, get it engaged there, and there, and there we are. We can use it. So, just about there with it. Flip it over, although I often put a piece of material down in case there's any inkiness on the surface. So, you've got two pins. That's the, that's the first pin we took out, that's the second pin. This pin goes through, the toweling goes underneath it. It's important to get the threading right here because it's got a clutch mechanism. So that goes there. And then this one goes around it. When it goes through the material there, we just pop the cog onto the end. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, so we need, now need to attach the fabric to the take-up roller. Sometimes this is sticky enough for this just to stick. It's just about sticky enough. However, we do provide a little tube of glue, which will do the job. That's it. is rebuilt. Finally we need to put the whole thing back together again. For which we need our springs here, which we put here, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Then we need our little capping station. This is on top. Uh, this thing, the capping station, has a bit of felt in it, which we discard. I'm going to put it down there. You can wash this out, but it's not that critical. So this is the felt, new felt for here. I'll just use this is special fluid. It's a special fluid that prevents it drying out. And so ink doesn't cake on top of it and it will be absorbed properly. Okay. okay and the other things, put the felt on here. Again going on it and the final felt at the back right we're ready for reassembly now so a little bit tricky we have to get this located in position this is located so the springs put up against these surfaces here. And the two pins sit either side. So I then flip this over. Sometimes it's good to hold on to this mechanism and just offer it up, gently lower it down and Finally, we put the plastic little white strip on here that makes the printer accept it as a new cleaning cassette. This should slot into that little groove there. And you want to keep this as clean as possible, so there we go. That's just about it. One final point is these rubbers can come detached in the process of handling it. They should be pushed back firm. So there you go, that's the finished item. A little bit dirty it needs to be, but perfectly functional. So that's, I'm Peter Martins, and that's my company, Bristling Jet. And if you need anything, give us a shout.